So I'm gonna to try to answer a very simple question, which is WTF get loot? Because it seems to be happening a lot in the community and I figured this would be a great opportunity to talk about brain crack. Then they stay around in your head like brain crack. Otherwise known as the bug. Uh, at least that's what I like to call it. I can't take a credit for brain crack. See Zay Frank, the original vlogger on that. When I get an idea, even a bad one, I try to get it out into the world as fast as possible because I certainly don't want to be addicted to brain crack. So leading up to DEF CON, I needed to basically get some new business cards done for Hack5. Hey, what cooler thing than to do some pretty nifty business cards, you know? Like there's a lot of hackers out there that have really cool business cards like that are like lock picks or carbon fiber, wood, whatever have you. So why not? And I ended up stumbling upon playing cards and I thought, oh, this would be great. I can make business cards that also happen to be playing cards. And then I figured, oh, well, then I can also use the cool graphics we have from all the, you know, Hack 5 characters. And I'm like, well, if I'm going to do that, it might as well also be a game, right? Now, mind you, at the time that I'm doing this, I've got like a million other things going, including having a bunch of weird tax stuff with the California Board of Equalization and a bunch of other stuff. So basically, I've allocated myself the morning of some day to put together these business cards that might happen to be a game. I was unsuccessful. And it led to insomnia, as certain things typically do for me because the brain keeps going and the body may be tired, but next thing you know, I'm spending four hours in the middle of the night sketching down this idea that I have that I cannot stop thinking about. There's a scene in the movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, that best describes it. It's, it's where the protagonist gets obsessed after seeing these aliens with this, well, the country's first national monument. He starts carving it into his mashed potatoes. Next thing you know, he's like, you know, building a giant version of it in his living room and his wife leaves him with the kids. And it's pretty terrible. Thankfully, my fiance didn't leave me. Uh, in fact, actually, her mother-in-law and sister-in-law, my mother-in-law and sister-in-law future, were actually really super helpful and supportive in creating this and playtesting. I did end up getting a pretty cool uh, badge printer out of the whole situation, so I guess if you're under 21 and you need a fake ID, hit me up. Also, mad props to Justin Robert Young, who was like one of the first people I went to to say, dude, I don't know where I got this bug, but help me because I've never made a card game before. And he is a quite accomplished card game creator, having done The Contender and having just recently released Action News, which if you have not played, it's amazing. Go check it out, Action News. All right, and more props. I've got to say thanks to Taz for making things like duckies and pineapples and bunnies come to life in cartoon form. That seriously took this to the next level. Taz, you're amazing. Point is, three weeks later, hot on the heels of having this idea, I'm putting get loot into production, which I'm told three weeks is like, a, is nothing in terms of the game creating business. But for me, it was an insomnia fueled bug that I just had to get out of my system. And for what it's worth, I did get business cards done and I think they look pretty good. Um, in fact, I would say if there's any one thing on this business card, other than founder CEO that I'm proud of, it's, it's lead designer. Of all the things that I love doing in this company, it's the design work, it's the creative, I live for this. Anyway, the whole thing got me thinking about a story that I might share with you about the first time I got this bug and how it may relate to you. See, it's 1994, I'm 11 years old and I've just downloaded a bunch of text files from a bulletin board system. Uh, you know, things like Secrets of the Little Blue Box and Jolly Roger's Cookbook and all sorts of shenanigans there. But I vividly remember not being able to sleep soon after that, just, just thinking of all the possibilities. Uh, that night, I remember I actually cut the RJ11 cable off of my, you know, beige bedroom phone and, and wired it up with paper clips on the, the, I think, the red and the green wire, because I didn't have alligator clips. And I vividly remember, as an 11-year-old, standing out on the side of my house in the dead of night on, like, a cold Virginia winter, as I, I just, like, unscrewed the telephone box. And connected these wires and just like through the static heard that dial tone and that dial tone was full of possibilities and changed my life completely. So to all of the 11 year olds out there, both in age and in heart, I say to you, when you get the bug, hold on. Remember the world is full of wonder and possibilities. So see that bug through. I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your technologist.
Oh, and uh, Get Loot is available now in the shop. It's a really fun card game that you can play with your family. Normal people, not just hackers. I hope you like it. Cheers. Domain.com has all of your website needs, from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools and even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you use coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think Domain.com.